Welcome to every movie I've ever seen. Today, the movie that I'm going to be talking about is The Call of the Wild. Now, 2020 has been a strange year for movies. Obviously, everything that was supposed to come out didn't come out. And uh, the first movie that I ended up seeing in theaters post, you know, everything shutting down was New Mutants, which I had already talked about earlier on this channel, but the last movie that I saw before everything shut down happened to be The Call of the Wild. Now this is this is the Harrison Ford and the CGI dog movie, which is the most apt description of this movie. Uh, you know, it's, it's exactly that. It's Harrison Ford in the Arctic wilderness, maybe Canada, probably Alaska, and you know, there's there's a dog, and they they do stuff. I know the dog gets lost and tries to find its way back to him. He becomes part of like a sleigh team, a sled team, not a sleigh team. The dog becomes part of like a dog sled team led by the guy from Jurassic World who was buddies with Chris Pratt's character. I think it's like Omar Sly, Omar Sai is is the actor's name, and uh, someone else is in this. Not I don't know. Anyway, this movie was you know it was fine. Uh, it's a January February movie, so you're not you're not really expecting greatness out of it. Uh, Harrison Ford's pretty much always good in whatever he does. So if you like Harrison Ford, that's probably enough to go see the movie right there. It was, you know, enough for me to go see the movie. I mean, yeah, I guess I, would, I, guess I didn't have anything better to do. And so, yeah, uh, the CGI dog, which I'm sure people have been talk, talking about too. It looked fine. Uh you know, bad CGI doesn't bother me as much as it may bother other people. I mean, really, not really bad CGI. That will, of course, uh, bother me. And, of course, CGI environments. Uh, you know, like if you have your Alice in Wonderlands or Valerian in a city of a hundred planets where it's, like, entirely CGI scapes. That that just completely looks fake and never looks good. So, but this wasn't that you know a CGI dog. Uh, probably a lot of real locations. I don't know much about the filming of this movie. If it's CGI locations, then they looked pretty good. Uh, I think Harrison Ford dies at the end of it. Uh, I, I guess Harrison Ford's reached the age in his acting career where maybe he makes it through the movie, maybe he doesn't. Who, who tells? Uh, he, you know, he, he didn't make it out of Force Awakens, but he did make it out of Blade Runner 2049. So it's a toss-up for what happens in Indiana Jones 5. But, but uh, you know, it was... It, it, it was a nice movie, you know, nothing to, nothing, nothing to write home about. Nothing. It's not going to win any reward, any awards. But uh, you know, the touching story. Uh, interesting. I, I liked the. I liked the dynamics of, him with the pack, of dogs and, slowly becoming their leader, like taking out the leader. But isn't the doesn't the pack die or something? Because the guy who was in it, who I don't remember, but he was with the redhead from Doctor Who, and he wants to, like, go across the ice. But they're like, oh, no, you shouldn't go across the ice. It'll collapse. And then he goes across the ice, and it collapses. And maybe the the dogs either die or run away. They probably don't die. They probably just run away. But I remember, I'm remembering, like, more and more of this movie now, just talking about it. Doesn't, whatever the dog's name is, wasn't he, like, originally a rich guy's dog? 
and then he gets kidnapped or lost or something and then he gets taken in by like abusive people or maybe I'm thinking about a whole other movie I don't know I don't know I don't remember the movie too much I've seen a lot of things since that and it's not exactly memorable but it is enjoyable so I don't know what that's gonna be worth in a year from now but I thought it was fine. I thought it was nice. Uh, and I guess that's all I have to say about The Call of the Wild.